Hello, dear students, and welcome to Inastava. This is an English lesson for the second grade of high school. In today's lesson, we will continue talking about food preparation and we will focus on the most important meal of the day, breakfast. I hope you didn't skip yours today. In this lesson, you will talk about meals of the day and think about the importance of not skipping breakfast. You will read a part of a text about meals and watch a video about the full English. You will list the differences and similarities between the English and Croatian breakfast. For this lesson, in addition to your notebook and pencil, you will need your smartphone or a laptop with the internet access. Sometimes, in order to do some tasks, you will need to pause the video. When this is the case, you will see this blue pause sign appear in the right bottom corner. Food forms a big part of any culture. Cuisines from different parts of the world are on the UNESCO's list of intangible cultural heritage too. In this quiz, you will check your knowledge about some traditional foods in Croatia. Scan the code or open the link in your browser and do your best. Here are the dishes mentioned in the quiz. Do you remember all of them? Have you heard all of them before? Now let's see. Which of these do we usually eat for breakfast? Which would you like to have for lunch or maybe dinner? Are they a delicious snack? Copy this mind map in your notebooks, please. Now classify the dishes on your left as you find appropriate. Write the answers in your notebook. What do you usually eat for breakfast, lunch or dinner? What's your favorite snack? Now add at least two more dishes for each meal in your mind map. When you are done, you can check your work with your English teacher in your virtual classroom. Since we were really little, we have been told that breakfast is the most important meal of the day and never to skip it. Do you sometimes skip your breakfast? Why is that? Many people say that they simply don't have the time to eat in the morning to prepare a delicious, healthy breakfast. To save time in the morning, we could make breakfast the night before. Scan the code or open the link to read the text about breakfast. For now, you will be reading just the first part of the text. While reading, take notes in your notebook. Write at least three breakfast takeaway ideas the author mentions in the article. Here are some of the breakfast takeaway ideas the author mentions. Check your work or have your English teacher check it for you. Do you sometimes have your breakfast at school or maybe on the way to school? Add at least two more breakfast takeaway ideas to this list. Go back to the text again. This time, read the whole article. According to the text you've just read, 
are the following sentences true or false? If they are true, just copy them in your notebook. But if they are false, write the correct version of them. You can check your work here and you can always consult your English teacher should you need any help. There are so many great breakfast dishes and traditions around the world, but I think you'll agree with me that the full English breakfast is one of the most famous ones. In your notebooks, write the title full English breakfast and at least five words that you associate with it. Watch the video now to see if you were right. While watching the video, feel free to add more items to your mind map. It's breakfast time! Forget stacks of pancakes covered in maple syrup and push aside your love of grits, as there's really no place for any of these items in the classic full English breakfast. So grab your knife and your fork and come with me as we feast our eyes on Britain's most treasured national dish. History of the full English the origins of the full English breakfast are a bit of a mystery, but many believe it harks back to the time of landed gentry who were keen to display their wealth and in doing so would put on lavish cooked breakfasts for their guests. The full English breakfast was later adopted by the working classes as a great way to start the day during the Industrial Revolution and has since become part of the British national identity. Nowadays, most Brits indulge in a full English only at the weekends, but boy, is it worth the wait. Also called a fry-up, the full English consists of the following fundamental items. Eggs. Fried eggs are most common in a full English breakfast. Well, what did you expect with the name Fry Up? However, scrambled and poached eggs are totally acceptable options. Bacon. We mainly use British back bacon, which is a combination of both pork belly and pork loin. The bacon is served fried or grilled until the fat is golden brown, and no, it isn't covered in maple syrup. Sausages. The Full English Breakfast is the perfect place for you to show off your sausage. And no, I'm not talking sausage patties or hot dog wieners. Instead, we prefer a simple Lincoln or Cumberland sausage, fried or grilled. Black pudding. I can only imagine this is called a pudding to make it sound more appealing. Black pudding is actually not a pudding. In fact, it's more like a sausage, but made with kidney fat, oatmeal and pig's blood. Mm -mm. It's sliced and then, yep, you guessed it, fried and tastes a bit dry and salty, a bit like everything else on the plate. Baked beans. Our baked beans are very different to the original American creation, which was made up of beans stewed with pork and molasses. British baked beans are stewed haricot beans, typically in a tomato sauce. You could make your own, but most of us just buy them in a tin. Toast. Toast or fried bread is essential for mopping up all the lovely grease left on your plate. You can use it as a platform to transport eggs and beans to your mouth, or you could save it and cover it in marmalade. In the north of England, grilled oat cakes are popular, whilst soda bread is served in Ireland. In Scotland, a potato or tatty scone is a staple, whilst Wales, interestingly, has lava bread, which is made up of seaweed boiled with oats. I think I'll stick to toast, thanks. Mushrooms. Mushrooms should never come from a tin, only fresh mushrooms will do. Grill or fry them gently and add some herbs if you're feeling particularly creative. Tomatoes. Grilled tomatoes are perhaps the most colourful item on the plate, next to the browny, creamy, beigey colour of everything else. These have a tendency to explode, so try not to wear your favourite t-shirt to breakfast unless tomato juice embellishment is the look you're going for. So, there you go. Eggs, bacon, sausages, black pudding, baked beans, toast, mushrooms and tomatoes. Let me know what you think. It really is the perfect way to start the day like a true Brit. Enjoy with a cup of tea or coffee and of course a copy of the morning papers. What twist do you like best on the traditional English breakfast? Let us know in the comments or tweet us at Anglophenia. And remember, you can like us on Facebook too. Now can I pinch a sausage?
I hope you enjoyed the video. However, I hope you're not too hungry to continue now. Let's do this multiple choice exercise by scanning the code or opening the link. Next, copy these sentences in your notebook and fill the gaps with one word. If necessary, you can watch the video again to finish the sentences. How about now? Is it easier now? You can check your work here. The lady in the video refers to the English breakfast as the full English. Write the answers to these questions in your notebooks. Check your work with your English teacher as the answers may vary. The lady in the video wanted to know what twist to the full English we would like to see. For example, I'd like to have more vegetables. What about you? Name at least two things that you would like to see on the table while having the full English. Here are some suggested answers. But you can always check your work with your English teacher. For the last task for today, let us compare Croatian breakfast to typical English breakfast. Write at least two differences and two similarities. Check your work with your English teacher, as the answers may vary. Let's see how much we've learned today. After today's lesson, can you suggest at least three breakfast takeaway ideas? Can you name two differences and two similarities between the full English and Croatian breakfast? If the answer is no, please go back to our lesson and do some tasks again. What is the one thing that you would like to learn more about after today's video lesson? Thank you until the next time. Goodbye.